Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be giving my early impressions of Star Wars The Old Republic, so sit back and enjoy. So, when I first got into the beta of Star Wars The Old Republic, I was really happy to get in, obviously, and, uh, you know, I messed around with the character creation, I did a little bit of combat, a little bit of the story, uh, mainly just trying to capture footage and see what the game is all about, and you know, to be honest, at the very beginning, I wasn't really getting into it. I was kind of on the fence. I was a little skeptical if this game was uh, all it was, you know, hyped up to be. And the more I got into it, and the more I started paying attention to my story and uh, really playing it like a game rather than just going in there to capture, you know, footage and commentary and stuff like that. Uh, the more I started to have a lot of fun with it, and it's really immersed me into the game with their story and the soundtrack and the environment. I think Bioware uh, has done a great job with Star Wars: The Old Republic, and you know I'm just I'm just getting more and more into it the more I play. So uh, that can only be a good thing, and I, I I'm really enjoying it. The combat in Star Wars The Old Republic is familiar, and it's also very fun, though. Uh, it's familiar to anyone who's played uh, any other MMOs that are out there, pretty much. World of Warcraft, Rift, um, Ion, any of those. And it's also, um, you know, it's it's fun. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it's, it's, uh, it's easy to pick up and fun to use. And it's also familiar, kind of, to the KOTOR style of combat. I don't think... Uh, people pl who played uh, KOTOR will have a hard time learning this new style of combat. Another huge thing about this game is its story. And I mentioned a little earlier, you know, once I listened to the story, I got more immersed into the game. And the story is really a fantastic part of Star Wars The Old Republic. And it eases, you know, the grind of the game, go out, kill six things, you know, get two rocks and you know all, all that stuff but it, it really immerses you into the game and you just you feel like you're you connect with your character and uh, with the soundtrack and the environment it all really ties in very nicely and you you almost feel like you're playing an RPG um, but you know you can play with friends as well so I mean they did a really fantastic job of like of combining these uh, two different worlds of kind of RPGs and MMOs because mostly RPGs or mostly MMOs haven't had a lot of story in them uh, until now and I really like the story so far and it's just amazing that they were able to do it for every single class has a unique story so uh, that's something that's really cool. Speaking of immersion in the game, uh, just as an example, the soundtrack uh, sounds extremely familiar to the soundtrack of the original movies and those songs are actually in the game however the new material that they produced uh, purely for Star Wars The Old Republic uh, it sounds like it, they could throw that into the movies with no problem uh, it doesn't sound awkward or unfitting it's just like put in there perfectly and I really think it, it uh, it really does help immerse you. Um, just as an example, they kind of use the soundtrack strategically. So, like, if I start fighting a um, a guy that's a bit higher level than me, uh, or maybe he starts attacking me, and he's uh, a lot stronger than me, they'll start playing some epic tension fighting music uh, that you weren't hearing before, and it's loud, and you get into it, and it's really great and really well placed, and uh, the music is fantastic. Uh, the story and all the music and stuff, it also makes you feel like you're important in the world. Um, you know, in other MMOs like World of Warcraft and stuff, which I don't really have anything against, but it's just, you don't feel like, I mean, you just feel like another player of the game. When Star Wars The Old Republic, you feel like you're, um, you're part of the game and you actually mean something, and, you know, the story really helps with that. And the game is similar to World of Warcraft, uh, but that's not really a bad thing. And I say sli similar to WoW, as in uh, the way questing kind of works, uh, besides from the story and dialogue, of course, and combat. Um, and, you know, just some general game features. It is similar to WoW, but it's really not a bad thing. Uh, if you're on the fence about it because you think it's a WoW clone, uh, I'd say just, you know, 
give it a try. Uh, if there's a free trial when the game comes out, definitely uh, try that out and really just pay attention to the story and everything because uh, I, I think you'll really enjoy it. The environment as well is really nice. A lot of people are kind of slamming the graphics, but uh, you know, Bioware obviously has reasons for the way they did the graphics uh, the way they were, and I completely support and understand them. Um, but I mean, really, there is some really nice spots in the environment, especially if you have a, a nicer graphics card that's able to do high frame rate rates and uh, far distance view. And you know, there's a lot of nice sights and the scenery environment really ties you in. It's really epic. And, you know, another thing is this game doesn't really introduce anything groundbreaking aside from the story. I mean, there's like a cover mechanic in the combat, which is something uh, new and unique, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it's fun, you know, it's enjoyable. And I'm only, uh, I've only put in, a, you know, a few hours into the game. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. And... I've played WoW for like six years on and off, and I last quit in February. Haven't played uh, an MMO since. I did try out Rift, but uh, I couldn't get into that. And, you know, I really haven't found another MMO that I could get into like World of Warcraft, and I think I'm going to be sticking with, the, with this one. So, you know, if that says anything, um, it says that Star Wars The Old Republic is a good game. So, I mean, this is just my early impressions of the game, guys. Uh, they're obviously going to change a little bit as the game goes on. And I may end up doing a, another impressions uh, later on into the game, or just a full-on review of Star Wars The Old Republic later on. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to like it, add it to your favorites, comment, and if you want to see more, subscribe.